Okay, today's lesson is about money. So, what do we need to know about money? Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, first, the learning standard. What is the learning standard? We need to learn about to complete the multiplication and division formula of the currency value within 100,000 Ringgit Malaysia. And there are three important notes here. Okay? That you need to know. The first one is Okay, the first one is we need to calculate from left to right. Okay? Second point. Remember to write down the Ringgit Malaysia symbol and decimal point. This is very important. And number three is division is not interchangeable. What does this mean? Okay, look at this example. 10 divided by 2 is not the same with 2 divided by 10. Okay, understood? We cannot change. 10 divided by 2 is not equal to 2 divided by 10. Alright, so now we look at the first questions. We try to do the first question. Number 1, RM 6,935 ringgit divided by 5 multiplied by 3 equals to... Okay, remember what I say? We need to calculate from left to right. So we need to do okay, the division first. RM 6935 divided by 5. Okay, after that, do you remember what we need to do for the divisions? We need to prepare for the timetable of 5. After that, we can do the division. Okay, the first one is 6. So 5 times 1 equals 5. So we write down 1, then 5. Okay. After that, 6 minus 5 equals 1. And then the 9s, we write it down, become 19. So we look at that. Is there any 19? No. So we find the number less than 19 is 15. So 5 times 3 equals 15. Oh, after that, 19 minus 15 equals to 4. Then the 3, write it down, becomes 43. So do we have 43? No, but we have 40, less than 43. So 40 is 5 times 8 equals 40. Then 43 minus 40 equals to 3. Then the 5, write it down, becomes 35. So do we have 35? Yes. Okay, so 5 times 7 equals 35. Then, 35 minus 35, is there any number left? No. So, this division is finished. So, don't forget to write down the RM. Okay, so, 6,935 divided by 5 is equal to 1,387. So, after that, we need to do the multiplications. 1,387 multiply 3 okay so this one 3 times 7 equals to 21 3 times 8 equals to 24 3 times 3 equals to 9 3 times 1 equals to 3 so after that we can do the addition number 1 is 1 second 2 plus 4 equals yes 6 2 plus 9 equals to 11, alright? So 1 plus 3 equals to 4. Okay, so the 0, we no need to write it down. So the answer for this question is 4,161. And don't forget to write down the RM, yes. Okay, now we try to do question number 2. RM, 15,000 ringgit divided by 12 times 8 equals to how much so first one we need to calculate from left to right okay the division first so rm 15000 divided by 12 and then we need to prepare the times table of 12 
okay just like this so because 12 is two digit so we directly look at the two digit number 15 so is there any number 15 no but less than 15 is 12 so we use multiply 1 equals 12 and then 15 minus 12 equals to 3 after that 0 write it down become 30 so do we have 30 no smaller than 30 is 24 right so 12 multiply 2 equals to 24 then we minus 30 minus 24 become 6 right then the 0 write it down become 60 do we have 60 yes 60 so 12 multiply 5 equals to 60 60 minus 60 is 0 so we no need to write it down and then the last 0 we write it down okay do we have 0 here yes of course so we just use 0 and down 0 0 minus 0 is 0 so no more number left we can finish so don't forget the RM and then this answer is RM1250 ringgit. So don't forget we're not finished yet, we still have the multiplication. So 1250 uh, 1, multiply 8. First one, 8 times 0, 0. 8 times 5, 40. 8 times 2, 16. 8 times 1, 8. Okay, after that, first one, 0. Second, 0 plus 0 is 0 4 plus 6 equals to 10 okay then 1 plus 1 plus 8 equals to 10 then the last one is 1 plus 0 1 so the answer is RM 10,000 ringgit okay the next questions number 3 RM 7,925 multiply 6 divided by 8 equals to okay first one we need to do is calculate from left to right okay so we need to do the division first okay the first one 7925 multiply by 6 okay, 6 times 5 equals to 30 6 times 2 12 6 times 9 54 6 times 7 42 okay then the 0 3 plus 2 5 1 plus 4 5 5 plus 2 7 and then last one is 4 so the answer for here is RM 47,550 ringgit so we're not finished we need to divide by 8 so we need to do the division okay first we need to prepare the timetable of 8 right so first two digit 47 do we have 47 here no but less than 47 is 40 so we use 8 times 5 equals 40 47 minus 40 equals to 7 5 write it down become 75 so less than 75 the number is 72 so we use 72 so 8 times 9 equals to 72 75 minus 72 equals to 3 and then the 5 let it down become 35 do we have 35 no but we have 32 less than 35 so we use 4 32 35 minus 32 becomes 3 and the 0 write it down becomes 30 so do we have 30 no less than 30 is yes 24 so we use 3 24 30 minus 24 equals to 6 okay here do you still remember the division of decimal yes when there is a remainder we still need to continue to do it okay this is not finished yet so how do we do it okay let's see first of all what do we need to do we need to add the decimal point right decimal point after we add the decimal point we need to add zero okay then the zero put it down become 60 so do we have 60 less than 60 is 56 so we use 756 
So 60 minus 56 become 4. And still have remain remainder, so we still need to continue to do. So 0 become 40. So do we have 40? Yes, 5. So 8 times 5 equals to 40. So finally, no remainder. So that means that we have finished these questions. Don't forget the RM. So the answer for this question is RM. 5,943 ringgit and 75 cent alright so I hope you understood this how I do this question so now there are three exercises that I need you to do okay we look at number one number two and number three so for this one you can try to do and I will review the answers in 10 seconds so you can try to do it. Alright, do you get your answers? If yes, I just reveal the answers for all of you now. Do you get the answers correctly? If yes, congratulations to you. If not, Please try it again. Don't give up. There is another exercise. I will put the link in the description below. So we just click the link and try to do it. So we have come to the end of the lessons. So if you like this video, please give a thumbs up for me. Share this video. Leave your questions in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Alright. So see you guys on my next video. Goodbye.